Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tess and I live in Atlanta with my husband Samir and our three feline friends, Baby Lobster, Pungy, and Huey. Normally I'm coming at you with a cleaning motivation video. Last week we just got the whole bathroom organized and I ditched all of my old makeup and products that have been in there for far too long. Today I'm gonna to show you all of the new makeup products that I bought from Tarte, Amazon, and Sephora to replace the old stuff. So if you wanna take a look, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this is everything that I got. You'll see I've got it organized in kind of three piles. So this is everything I got from Tarte. Then back here is all Amazon. And then here's everything from Sephora. So I thought the best way to do this was to start with a completely fresh, clean face. I have absolutely no makeup on. And then I'm going to show you where my new products, not new to the market, but new to me, fall into my routine. And I'll let you know what I think about them. Quick disclaimer though, I am not a makeup professional. I am absolutely a newbie, a beginner. So these are things that you can use if you know absolutely nothing about makeup like me, and it might be helpful for you if you're new to building your own routine to see what products could be beneficial to you. So as I've been watching some YouTube videos, you know, learning some tips and tricks about makeup, you're supposed to start with a primer, especially if you are oily like me. I get extremely oily in the T-zone. So this is the primer that I purchased from Milk. I got this from Sephora, but you can also get it directly from the Milk website. Milk is a brand that is cruelty-free, paraben-free, vegan, clean, all of those things that you're looking for. And this is their Hydro Grip Primer. This is the mini size, so this is $15. The bigger size, the full size product is about 30. But what I like about this and it is, is it is gel based, so I'm just gonna take a pump of it. When I first used this, I swear it took me about 100 pumps to get the product up the little straw, but it will get there eventually. And you're just going to really carefully rub this in all over your skin. Now it goes in, I'm just gonna do half of my face and you'll see a nice little before and after the difference. So we're just gonna do my right side of my face and makeup. And I'm just gonna get this all over. And this is going to help grip the makeup so it stays in place. But a primer also helps to distribute the oil as it starts pushing up through your skin, cause it's gonna come. So primer's on, I'm just gonna let that sit for a second. And while I let that dry and kind of do its thing, I'll show you some of the other things I got. This is from Tarte, I ordered it from the Tarte website. This is the Madakuja Tinted Hydrator, and it's in the shade Light Neutral. But I have to say I'm not totally pleased with this. It was about 23 to $25, I don't remember exactly how much. And it's definitely light coverage, so if you're looking for light coverage, this will be good for you, but it's just, it felt like a little bit of a waste. It wasn't making enough of a difference to take the redness out of my skin. I think I would skip over this guy. So now that the primer has done its thing, I can go in with my eyeshadow primer. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Priming Potion. This is just the mini version. This is going to keep your eyeshadow in place because your eyelids are gonna get really oily. Um, and you're gonna see the true pigment of whatever shade you're putting on. So you'll notice it's got a nice little wand and I'm just gonna come in here and get a little bit on and I'm just going to come in with my fingertip and carefully move it around. It's really easy to move. It's not sticky or anything like that. It's actually pretty smooth. So we're gonna let that do its thing. Next, this I got actually pretty excited about is the Bare Minerals. And this is a foundation stick. They're calling this a Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. And it also has SPF 25. This is in the shade Birch 1.5. Now what I like about this is it very easily goes up and down. And I initially went directly on my face, but somebody on YouTube said, hey, it'll actually blend better if you get a brush. So I ordered this brush set from Amazon. This was about $13 for at least a dozen brushes. So this I would definitely recommend all these different brushes because before I just had a couple and they just weren't gonna do the jobs that I needed them to. So I'm just gonna come in with a nice flat guy and grab some product like this. And again, I'm only doing my uh, right side of my face and I'm just gonna go in where I'm red. So you'll see, and I'm gonna tap it. You'll see I'm really red just above my eyebrows 
which I think is kind of a funny spot. Um, my cheeks get pretty red. And I'm just coming in and tapping it really lightly. And what the primer does, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera, but the primer just gives this such a nice like matte finish. Coming in a little bit more, my cheek also gets quite red, blending it up through my neck. Again, I am not a PRO professional. I am a novice, if that, that's probably generous. So I'm just using a technique that works for me. Coming in, patting it, done. Moving on to concealer. Now concealer, this is the first time I've bought concealer in my entire life, but everybody and their mother is looking so beautiful and awake underneath their eyes, I had to try it. So this is from Sephora, and this is their Bright Future concealer. It's a little bit cheaper than some of the you know more well-known brands. And the shade is, I almost said scent, not scent. And the shade is Bavarian Cream. So I'm just gonna come in a nice little applicator wand. You'll notice that I get pretty purple, which I didn't notice. I never noticed these things until I started watching makeup videos and I was like, oh my God, I'm so dark under here. I'm gonna come in and do one, two little dots here, one on my outside corner. Good enough. I'm a beginner, it's okay, right? And I'm just gonna come in and pat this in place. And you're gonna notice it's just gonna brighten everything up without looking cakey. And then any excess product, I actually probably use too much. Any excess product, we can just use towards the middle and carrying it underneath my lower lash line. And we're just tapping, it's gonna warm up the product and then move it. See, the more you tap it, it's just gonna get into place a little bit better. I got a little too much up here, that's okay. Once we get some eyeshadow on that, it'll be fine. Do you see the difference though between my right eye and my left eye? It just looks so much brighter and more awake. So now I've pretty much got my base set. Now I'm gonna go in with this highlighting contouring palette. This is from Stellar and I got this from Sephora. So open it up, nice sleek packaging. And we have our contouring shade and then some highlighting shades. Now the contour, looks a little red to me. So it's almost more like a bronzer. So I'm gonna be pretty light handed with it because otherwise I'm gonna look like a fool. So I'm gonna come in, I'm just gonna grab a little bit boop, and go in, like I don't think I really even need to contour. I think I look a little silly with a contour, but I'm gonna come in and just blend this in really well. I do like that these, these are very pigmented so you're not gonna need a whole lot. So that's blended in nicely. I'm gonna hold on to it for a second and come in with this blush. This I got from Amazon. This is from Milani. This is the Baked Powder Blush. This is an Luminoso. I will say I don't think this is the right shade for me. I read some reviews and they said if you're more fair that this peachy color would work. I'm not convinced. I think it's a little too bold. You'll see what I mean. So I'm just gonna come in, get some on the brush and get it patted off the excess. I just think it's a little, you can't even really see on the camera. Do you see what I mean? I think it's a little bold. I'm wondering if I should go for more of like a dusty rose type shade, but it does bring a little bit of color to your cheeks without going crazy. I just think that you might need a deeper skin tone for this to really work for you. But you can see it does, it does just kind of brighten everything up. Okay, so we got a little bit of blush on. Again, this is from Amazon, it was about $6. And then I'm gonna come back in to do the highlight. I'm gonna go with this kind of creamy caramely shade, and it is shimmery. And we're just gonna put it right where the light hits, right here. Just a little bit. And then I guess I could do a little bit of the gold as well. Boop, boop. A little bit. But you can see there's like a little bit of shimmer there, just a tiny bit to pick up that natural light. So again, this is the Stellar contouring palette. They call this the Face Sculptor and it's in Nebula. This is from Sephora, about $18. So again, we're just working on this side. You can already kind of see that my right side of my face is not so red. It definitely looks a little more like fresh, if you can see, versus over here. A lot of redness and unevenness. It's a little patchy. Okay, we're gonna move on to the eyes. Now this was very exciting for me. This is from Tarte. This is the Tartlet in Bloom eyeshadow palette. It, they call it the Amazonian clay palette. 
when you open this, it is so velvety and luxurious. It is like cocoa butter lotion has just been slathered all over, but in a really subtle, beautiful way. So this is the palette. You'll see it's got a beautiful mirror. Oh, hi, camera. Um, a nice big mirror, and it's this is more neutrals, browns. Most of the shades are matte, but we do have, let's see, one, two, three more metallic shades. And I've been living in these like really light shades. Again, like I am new to this, so I've just been experimenting a little bit here and there. And I'm gonna come in with, with my one of my brushes from Amazon. And this is just like a blending brush, or so that's what I learned from the little, don't fall Tess, the little guide, because I didn't know. The little guide told me this was a blending brush. Thank you, little guide. So I'm just gonna come in and we're gonna go with Jet Setter. This is right here. And we're gonna put that, whoop, don't go crazy, because it's gonna get a little powdery. We're gonna, right, we're going on one eye. We're just gonna come into the crease. Yeah, we want a little nuts there. That's a little too much. And we're just gonna get this into the crease and start blending it up. As if I know how to use all these makeup terms. Robert Welch, if you're watching, I hope I'm doing an okay job, because you're my makeup guru. All right, we're just blending this, or so they say, trying to get it, you know, moved into place where it's not so strong. That looks pretty good, okay. Now we're gonna come in with a lighter shade. I'm gonna do, we're gonna do Flower Child, this guy right here. And again, these move so nicely. I should be, I'm pretty sure, getting a different brush, but you know, who's got that? And we're just gonna come in and get that all over my bottom, the bottom of my lid, and get that blended in. Now, Robert Walsh says you're not supposed to come in really, really high. Get away from the brush. You're gonna have better movement. Thank you, sir. And we're just gonna blend that into place. You see, it just gets, gets like a little bit of color. It almost, in my opinion, like takes the natural shades of my eyelids and brings them out. And then I'm just gonna come in with Charmer, this kind of creamy shade on top. And we're gonna stick that right up on top, give it a nice little blendy blend. And you'll see these move really nicely. And the pigments are very true to what they are in the palette. And then if you wanna be fun, like let's say we wanna take Rocker, this kind of shimmery metallic shade, Again, you should be changing your brushes, but eh, whatever. And give it a little bit of shimmer. And that's our eyeshadow. See, it just kind of brightens it up, gives it a little bit of dimension. Okay. Oh, no, we're not done. We have to do a little bit of liner below. So I'm gonna go in with this brush from my Amazon brush set. And you'll notice that it comes to almost a little bit of a point so I can have a little more control. And I'm just gonna get this activist color right here a little itty bit, and I'm just gonna come right underneath to my lower lash line and get a little bit of definition there. Nothing crazy. There we go. I just do L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara from the drugstore, or from all those times I'm going to Target and spending $50 on things I don't know. This got added to the cart. I really like it. It's probably like eight bucks. Nothing crazy, and I've tried some like more expensive mascaras before and I just think this guy works really well. So one of my other purchases from Amazon, <laughs> this was comical. This is um, one of those magnetic eyelash kits. So I got this guy, admittedly the mirror sucks. Like don't rely on that guy, but it comes with two different pairs. And I opened it and was like, oh, look at those. Those are so big and bold. These are bigger and bolder. So I'm probably gonna stick to the ones on the top. So the idea is you take this magnetic eyeliner. Yes. And I'm not gonna do it because I did it when I received this a couple weeks ago and Samir was like, dude, what are you doing? Um, so this needs a little bit more practice. Perhaps I could show you in a comic relief video. You'll notice it's got the liquid liner and you go in right along your lash line, let it dry for a minute or two, and then you just grab your little tweezer guys. Boop, 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 boop. Do you like the sound effects? And then you grab your lashes and stick them on and I swear to God, they stick right on. It was crazy. And if they aren't in the exact right spot, carefully pull them off and you can readjust them. They work. 
for a sucker like me who doesn't know how to do this, they work. If I could just get that line straight, we'd be in business. But these are from Amazon. It's not marked with the brand, so I'll drop that in the description box. I'll put a link down there. But if you're looking for some magnetic lashes, these were like 15 bucks. I would recommend them. They work great. Moving on to some lip color, guys. Do you see it already? It just looks fresh, not too crazy. And these are both from Tarte. Now, I filled up my cart at Tarte with all sorts of goodies. And I also want to show you, I'm forgetting something. I did get from Tarte this little sample set of primers and setting powders. So the primer is almost like a lip balm consistency. I would pat that into any spot where there's fine lines, pores that are really huge that I just want to kind of cover up. Um, that's what this guy is for. I was kind of feeling duped when this arrived because it's so teeny tiny, but I should have known this whole set was about $20. Uh, then we have the Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape. This is the setting powder. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I forgot to set my makeup. So this would just go in the areas that get extremely oily. Nothing crazy, just get a little bit into your lid and I would come in, especially around my nose. Am I the only one whose nose gets crazy? And then my forehead also gets quite shiny and my chin. But I'm not doing like this whole baking phenomenon. No. Um, so this is that powder. It moves really nicely. This came in that tart set as well as the Stay Spray setting spray. So when you're done, you can give it a nice all over. These three guys, I, I would recommend. These were nice. And I love that they're a sample size, so I can try them out, see if I like them. And then if I'm satisfied, I can go ahead and buy the full size. If not, I didn't waste all the money on the full size product. So I'm checking out from Tarte. I've already spent a decent amount of money. And then they're like, don't you want some extra lipsticks for $8? And I said, sure. I'm trying to be more bold, adventurous. Let's try some new colors. Now, they arrived and I was like, are you serious? These little itty bitty guys. But the colors are beautiful. It is a nice way to try them. I would recommend. Mm. I would recommend some of these colors. I don't know about like trying it. $4 for one of these, let me show you. So this is the Rum Punch. I love this color. I've worn this a couple of times. You'll see it's like a mauve peach and it has a little itty bit of shine. It's mostly matte, but this is the whole thing. This is where I was like, $4, come on guys. So this is a really beautiful shade, especially if you're looking for something a little more neutral. And then this one's fun. Here is Daiquiri, really nice and bright. You'll see that I, I actually used this on top of something else the other day. It's really quite beautiful. So these I threw in at the last second, they got me. It's like when you go to Home Goods, right? And then you, they make you walk through the one mile of extra things you don't need, but they know you're gonna put in your cart. I got trapped, but they're great. Great for sticking into a little itty bitty bag. I really like the term itty bitty. So these are from Tarte. I think I'm gonna go with Rum Punch. We're just gonna do that on, again, one half. It's very silky smooth. Do you see how it's kind of nude? I'm just gonna rub together, come up here. Now, if you're like, Tess, you need a little bit more color than that, girl. Well, I can come in with my daiquiri. When you're an elementary school teacher, sound effects are part of the job. Then it brightens it up just a little bit. Again, just a nice polished, finished look. Okay, normally I would say we're done, that's it. I forgot. This is one of my favorite things that I got, guys. This is from Milk Makeup, again, all clean. This is the Kush Fiber Brow Gel. Now, if you look at my brows, especially this right one, it's really, really thin towards the inner corner of my eye. And I distinctly remember being in middle school and sitting at the dining room table during dinner, and out of nowhere, my mother said, Tess, did you shave your eyebrows? Um, no, but I did go at them like crazy with tweezers. 
it was really bad. I think it's a phase that all middle schoolers go through. And I have to think that I overplucked so much that this just never really grew back. It's not so bad over on this side, but right here is really, really sparse. So I've been looking for something that will give me a natural fuller look that's not like, whoa, you just put your eyebrows on. So this is the Kush Fiber Brow Gel. The shade is Herb. They have about seven or eight different shades. And then you get this nice little wand. It's nice and small so you can get into the little spots. And what they say is you just come in, swipe it into the spots that you want. And there are heart shaped fat heart heart-shaped fibers that are going to grab onto any hairs that you've got there, even if you can't see them. So I'm gonna come in here. You can already see it, right? It's so natural looking. So I obviously like concentrate a little bit more towards the inner corner. And then I'm just gonna come a little less as I move out. Look at the difference, right? Really simple. This was about $20, I wanna say. But it looks so natural, which I love. It doesn't look like I just drew my pen my drew my pencils on, drew my eyebrows on. I'm really liking the look of that. So again, this is from Milk Makeup, but you can get this from the Sephora website as well. I would say this is my favorite thing that I bought. That's it. That's the whole routine. Now, can you see the difference? You're gonna look at it and be like, Tess, you look exactly the same. But I'm going for a natural look. So here's this side, natural, look completely natural. No makeup at all. And here's some of the products side. We've got primer, we've got concealer, we've got foundation. Everything just kind of looks a little more illuminated, right? A little more finished, a little cleaner, a little more polished. All right, friends, so I finished the whole face. Here's the complete look. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're looking for more haul videos, be sure that you subscribe. Next week, I'll be coming to you with tons of cleaning motivation, so be sure to check that out, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.